Looks like Coach Beatonbow got his guy as the Oklahoma Sooners picked themselves up a commitment from the portal. Big old Spencer Brown, the 6'6", 310 offensive tackle from Michigan State, commits to the Sooners. Let's dive into him and talk about what he means to this offensive line and uh, all of that jazz. Before we do that, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. Thank y'all for pulling up to the channel. Hey, we've been seeing some growth, so thank y'all for pulling up, especially all the new people. We talk a lot of OU football and college football in general, and we, of course, have a great time doing it. And so we're glad that you're here to uh, join us in this family. So let's dive into Spencer Brown, big man out of Michigan State, coming to Oklahoma out of the transfer portal. This video is probably going to be pretty quick. We've got another news video coming out tomorrow to talk about everything else going on in OU football, but I think this one deserves its own separate one because we got our first transfer commitment, right? And this one's a big one, and let me explain why. So you got big old Spencer Brown here, as I mentioned, 6'6", 310. Honestly, he wasn't a very highly toted uh, player out of high school. I mean, he was considered a you know composite consensus three-star, but he came into college football and was cooking. He's had uh, over... 30 career starts, career games at Michigan, but over 20 starts, 870 career pass blocking snaps, only allowed eight snaps out of that, and eight hits and 32 hurries. And so he does very well out there at the tackle position, <clears throat> right tackle natively. He was ranked number nine on on three's uh, com- list of, uh, of players in the transfer portal. It's open. No, he's one of those players that can ball. He's got a year left of eligibility. And honestly, when I saw that 6'6", 310 frame and saw him just how big of a person as he is, I was like, okay, who's he remind me of? It's pretty easy. Walter Rouse. So, you know, we got Walter Rouse last year from Stanford. Big dude. Got the one year out of him. And Walter did a lot for us out there at the left tackle. So he was basically protecting the front side for Dylan Gabriel. And Spencer Brown's basically doing the exact same thing for Jackson Arnold. Because Jackson's a right-handed quarterback. He'll be the right tackle out there. And most likely, Jacob Sexton's going to be your left tackle with Caden Green at the left guard position. And so the way the line is lined up for Oklahoma next season, it's going to be nice. We'll have a veteran presence on the edge. We'll have two good vets. We'll have Caden Green, who is a freshman All-American, and we'll talk about that in another video. And then you'll have that that center and right guard that's going to be set up based upon who we feel like is going to be stepping up and stepping out going forward for this team. And so we've got a lot of young players that's going to get a lot of run, but having a player like Spencer Brown is huge for what we're trying to do moving into the SEC. We need big boys that have got experience experience ones that can block very well and we've seen spencer brown do some big stuff now there's some little controversy that goes around him if y'all remember he was ejected from the michigan game because of a hit when he was getting into it with somebody so he's got some nastiness to him kind of appreciate that offensive lineman he's going to be a little nasty going into the sec and so um he got his discipline he apologized for you know losing his temper and everything and so i think he's a better man from it the good thing is, is Coach Beaton Bowe's going after the players that he wants. I had mentioned this before when it came to the offensive line recruiting, that Beaton Bowe has a particular type that he likes, and if he doesn't see it in the class, he starts to shop around. And the good thing is, because we've got the transfer portal, you're going to start seeing a lot of these top-tier offensive linemen or the ones that have been under-evaluated step up and get better grades and end up you know, at bigger programs because of their ability to actually play. And a lot of your top star players, their bigger thing is they end up getting humbled when they go to the collegiate level and they learn that, oh, okay, I'm not really as great as I thought I was. And then they come back and be like, all right, I'm ready for development. They don't, they leave, lose some of the diva ishness. And I think that you'll see that a lot more going forward with some of these players. I love the fact that Spencer decided after going in the portal, I believe Beaton Bow went up to town, saw him, basically sealed the deal while he was there most likely because Beaton Bow looked at him and said, look, look what I did for with Walter Rouse. Look at Tyler Guyton, who's going to be a first round draft pick, late first round, easily. Uh, if not, it's very early in the second, but I expect him to be mid to late first. We're putting Lyman out there, especially on the transfer side. So I anticipate that Beaten Bow's going to get him, mold him to where he is. Schmitty's going to get him super strong, and we're just going to beat people up. Plus, like I said, it's going to be great for the young players for their development. They're still going to play. They're just not going to start to play as many snaps. But as they get their snap count up being young, boy, the future's bright going right into the SEC next season. So 
We're looking at Spencer Brown. Hop in the comments. Let your boy know what's your thoughts. How you feel about Oklahoma's latest pickup. Got some big boy coming out of the portal. Y'all know I'm jazzed up. Excited about this size. 6'6", 310. Walter Rouse came in at 6'6", 325. So we got us another big boy out there on the bookends. If you made it this far, you like the content, hit the like button if you're new to the channel. Subscribe. Love for you to join this family of college football fans. Talk a lot of OU football and college football in general. We'll be increasing it like crazy because the portal is jumping, jumping over the last few days. So you'll see a news video from me about Oklahoma come out tomorrow. But uh, yeah, talk to me in the comments. Check out one of the next videos here that YouTube recommends. We'll chop it up soon. Peace.